bem-vindas ao cardiologista são frequentes. A observação é obrigatória. Ian sofreu seis cirurgias antes de fazer quatro anos. He was a big, healthy, eight and a half pound baby, and they took him off. They said to take a bath, give him a bath, and um, they never came back. Over an hour went by, so I sent my husband off to find the baby, and he came back quite a bit later with two doctors, and they were all crying, very visibly shaken, which I knew that the news was not good. Disseram que Ian não sobreviveria um dia. Só uma cirurgia de emergência o salvaria. Seis horas após nascer, Ian sofreu uma grande cirurgia. Ian had underdevelopment of the pulmonary valve, uh, which is the artery right here we see in this drawing, and that caused the right side of his heart not to develop as well. And what that leads to is a lack of oxygen in his blood. So it's a condition where he is essentially suffocating because of not enough oxygen is delivered to the brain and to the rest of the body. A cirurgia correu bem. Após nove horas, os médicos repararam a válvula. Mas o subdesenvolvimento do lado direito do coração levaria tempo e mais cirurgias. A vida de Ian ainda corre risco. O que traz Jim aqui é um evento que ocorreu um ano antes de Ian nascer. My dad was a police officer and he walked into Radio Shack and he could tell something was going on. Two guys at the front desk pulled a machine gun out of their overcoat and pointed it at the manager. And my dad pulled his revolver and said, drop your weapons on a police officer. And somebody was shooting him after, quite immediately after he said that. Jim and Maria reveem the autopsy of the a causa da morte se destaca para quem a lê. Seu pai morreu devido a uma artéria pulmonar rompida causada por um tiro. A mesma artéria que faz Ian sofrer. Mas algo mais estranho aconteceu. The first time was when he was about three, and um, I was doing some work in my office, and he was making quite a bit of noise, and I had threatened him with a spanking if he didn't quiet down, and he stood there and looked at me and said. When you were a little girl and I was your daddy, lots of times you were bad and I never spanked you. Which just kind of blew me away. He didn't get a spanking. Ian começou a falar mais sobre o avô. Growing up we had two cats, a black cat and a white cat. And the black cat was the maniac and the white cat was Boston. So one day we were... I was doing something and Ian came over to me and he said, Mom, when you were a little girl and I was your daddy, what was my cat's name? And I said, Maniac? And he said, No, the white one. And I said, Boston? And he said, I used to call him Boss, right? So he knew the color of the cat and he knew the nickname that only my dad used to call Boston. Maria tem muitas histórias como esta de Ian. Ela está convencida de que Ian é seu pai reencarnado. Não são só as histórias, mas também a prova física. A correlação entre a doença e a lesão mortal do pai removeu todas as dúvidas. The birth marks are something that is completely objective and it's something that is beyond uh, memory or, or beyond chance. Talvez a memória de Ian o engane. Talvez o que diz esteja ligado ao avô por mero acaso. Mas a combinação de memória e prova física é muito convincente. I didn't want to go back, but God gave me to you. Uh, gave it to your mom? Yeah. Even though you didn't want to come back? Mm -hmm. O caso de Ian Hector exige a pergunta. O que significam todas essas provas? 
there are obviously huge questions here which we haven't even begun to try to answer, um, such as is there a soul? If so, what does that term even mean? Uh, how does it get carried over from one life to the next? When you look at all these cases, you can certainly focus on the weaknesses if you choose to. But I think there's also enough here so that if you choose, you can step back and say that there may just be something remarkable going on. Se o Dr. Tucker estiver certo, as lembranças de todas as crianças podem significar que a morte pode ser apenas um caminho para uma outra vida.